So this is part two because my video got cut off. It's been happening a lot lately this week. My videos get cut off in like the middle, which is irritating. Um, so yeah, though that video, that reading and this reading are connected. This is this was the secret. Uh, now you know you just just forgive them and walk away. Wow, nothing wants to come out. I, I think that's it. That's that's. Now you know what you know. Move on, right? House. We have house. But it fell um, horizontally on top of walking away now hurts. But it would be for the better in the long run. Trust the divine. So these could be people that you've known for a very long time. That you've grown up with. Or that you live with. Or that you've lived with. house walking in a line they come upon a picnic where they can die let me get one more for house main female You okay? So, main female house. You're gonna, um, I feel like you're just focused on your house. Main female here, focus on your house. Also, you're walking away from a main female. This main female, um, has, she's got like queen bee, well not, not like queen bee energy, but to enough to where she feels like she's entitled to attention. And something is going on with her house. This is who you walk. You walk. You're. You're walking away. And you walked away. I also feel like this main female is jealous of your house. Because her house is kind of like. And I don't know. Like it, it's just not. The foundation of her house is not good. So she's jealous of your house. And you don't even care because you're walking away. So she's got no luck. And her house, like the foundation of her home is just not good. She wants your attention. You're not giving it to her. Main female. So this main female is the one that has been. Oh shit, wow. Um, I guess that works either way. Has been like with your ex. There's a weirdo here. I don't know if it's the, the feminine or the masculine, the karmic feminine or the masculine or the karmic masculine. The karmic feminine or the karmic masculine. One of them are weird. I'm mean, like weird. It, like, like, I don't know. Like just ill, like just so weird. You ever look at somebody and you're just like, you're just doing way too much. Like, can you relax? Like, I feel like that's one of them. Like, can you just sit down? Marriage and then community in reverse. So these could be two people that the community... You know what I think happened? I think these two people got in some sort of contract together secretly that you're not supposed to know about until the right moment where they wanted to reveal it to bring you a storm but you found out about this already you do knew like they got into a relationship or they got into a business or they got married right whatever they did in secret it was a it was a binding contract i also feel like 
the community has turned their back on these on this couple this man and this woman they've turned their back on this couple and i feel like as the community turns continues to turn their back on this couple their abundance just goes down it's like depleting my hands are shaking yeah but for some reason though they needed your energy all you have to do was just learn how to walk away and let go um fix your attachment issues like i i don't i don't have a nice way to say that sorry but you just have to fix yourself fix your attachment issues work through it get through it get over it understand where it's coming from understand why it is you know you did that right because how else are you going to be able to like learn how to walk away in a healthy way and not freak out and not you know have cause a scene and slash tires and right how else right you got to do it in a healthy way you did that you're doing that in a healthy way and you're just focused on your house meanwhile the feminine in this couple she's focused on your house it's the weirdest thing this feminine in this failed relationship who has no luck the community has turned their back onto she's focused on your foundation meanwhile her foundation has crumbled it's it's fallen it's broken it's no more she's got nothing And here you are, just focused on your home, just walking away, living in abundance. You're just being. You're just feeling. You're just receiving. You're just desiring. That's, that's you. You're just doing that. You don't have to do anything else either. Like you literally, you just, oh, this information is in front of me. Okay, I see. I understand it. I'm going to let this go now. Move on. Um... I feel like also these, this couple or the community or the world, society, whatever, they think that you're the weird one because you're not freaking out about anything. But what's really weird is why would you want someone to have a, that's, they're, they think that you're weird because you're not having a mental breakdown over this information. You're not like on your knees crying and eating a tub of ice cream and what was me, my life. You're not doing that. And because you're not doing that, they think you're weird. But that's that weird energy. Like they're the weird ones because they were expecting that's that's why that's why wow. That's why they were waiting for the perfect moment to hit you with that storm because they wanted you to be in that state. It's like they wanted to see it. Right? It's like some truly should it's it's truly sadistic how they wanted you to be in that position. But they it it's not happening. You're not going to be in that position because that's not, you worked through what you had to work through. So they think that you're weird because you're not hooting and hollering and slashing tires and breaking windows. And instead you're just walking away, being graceful, being calm, being cool, being collected and focus on your house and being in hermit mode. Look, hermit mode. You're just going within yourself, understanding these spiritual lessons, doing the work, studying, Focusing on yourself. Also, you're isolated from whatever these the situation is. You're isolating yourself because you've got work to do. This is what you're doing. You're following the light within, right? You don't have time to be hooting and hollering when you're busy working and doing what you have to be doing and following the light and being with the light. You don't care. You're a hermit. You don't care that. Also, I, I you don't care that they think that you're weird. Because if anything, I think it's weird that you want me to be broken hearted and hooting and hollering. I keep saying hooting and hollering because right now that's like so fun for me to say hooting and hollering. Like I, it just sounds fun. So I'm going to keep saying hooting and hollering, right? So they want you to be hooting and hollering and, you know, just being all over the place and not knowing what to do. But you're in hermit mode. You know, you're like learning and studying and you're... Her, the hermit is like freaking smart as heck too so you're you're too smart for what they wanted for you the fool you've got you've got nothing but like options and 
I also feel like the way you reacted to this information allowed you to kind of like open the doors to uh, a different part, like a, a new life in a way. That's probably not the best way to put it, but because the way I see the fool, the fool is like the most powerful card in the deck of tarot, right? Um, it, uh, that's okay. Also, well, okay. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause I'm getting a little too excited because of the fact that it gives the, um, I don't want to say the player, but I guess we'll do that because it gives the player a second chance in life, a new path to start fresh. Everything has been wiped clean, right? There's no karma. There's no debts. There's no pain, no sorrow, just understanding, patience, studying, learning, and you know, releasing abundance that that's where you are. You're in this fool energy and you're doing what you have to do, isolating yourself. And you're not isolating yourself in like in a way where it's like, you know, you're in the dark and like all the doors are locked and the windows are closed. It's not like that. It's just, you're isolating yourself from things that no longer serve you. That's the best. Also, what I was going to say is that that's the reason why the fool is the first card in tarot, because it talks about the player's spiritual journey throughout tarot. The entire tarot deck is the fool's journey, right? That's why it's zero. This is your journey. This is talking about your journey. I feel like you overcame a very important lesson in your journey. And so now you get to go on a different path, like a second life. And you're just feeling and being and receiving and desiring. And it's like... I don't know. The best way I can put it is kind of like you're going through puberty again because the first time you went through puberty, it was just like torment and acne and chaos and it was just anxieties and depression. It was just not fun. But now it's kind of like you've got all this energy and you're experiencing life and you're young again. And that's, that's, that's you. You got a second chance in life. I feel like the only reason why that happened, had you acted the way they wanted you to act, it would have really set you back and it would have given them some sort of leeway to take from you. Oh, you see how the collective is asked or is acting? They can't handle life. They can't handle this. They can't handle that. Look at how they're acting. But come to find out, you acted very calm, cool, collected. You were in hermit mode. You isolated yourself. You found out this information. You were like, all right, it is what it is. Bye, whatever. And instead of like being, that's another thing too. They wanted you to be bound to this energy. Because if you can't, the problem is, the problem why, it's like they wanted you to spend the next, I don't know, 5, 10, 20 years, like, thinking about this heartbreak and like, I can't believe I got betrayed, I don't trust anybody, blah, 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 blah. You're not using that to stop you. You're still trusting, you're still loving people, you're still moving forward. You're like, okay, well, shit happens, let me just keep moving on, right? Instead of just staying stuck and like this ball of pain this ball of confusion. Why did this happen to me? Why did they do that to me? Why did they hurt me? Why did they betray me? Why, why, why? And you're not moving forward. You're not healing. You're not progressing. You're just stuck. Your path has been blocked by all this, this storm that they were going to put in front of you. But you, instead of being stuck, you kind of just took out your umbrella. It was like, oh, okay, it's just a little bit of rain. Not a big deal. Let me just keep going. Right? Hence the fool card. And when you did that, a bunch of new paths opened up. You didn't let yourself get stuck. I think that's it. Oh, wow. So the Nine of Swords fell on top of Community in Reverse. The community is also fed up with this couple, this man and this woman. Whether or not they are a couple... Um, but the community is fed up with them. The community is all up in their head because it's just like, wow, this man and this woman really said this about the collective. Now we feel like we did something wrong. We feel like we did something bad. The community in reverse, one of the reasons why they're fed up with them is because these, this man and this woman said something about you. 
It's like they said something, they couldn't back it up. The community took their word for it, and now the community looks like a bunch of fools. But not the good fool like you. Yeah, this was like a... This man and this woman, this karmic masculine and this karmic feminine, they treated the community like a bunch of sheep. And I'm not saying that's their fault because the community are also at fault, right? Like, be real, we're all adults, right? Everybody, like, everybody's at fault. But the community also took this masculine, this karmic masculine and this karmic feminine's word as, like, law. And now, like, they just followed them like a bunch of sheep. What's this? Wow. Look, Seven of Cups. I was just talking about how you have a bunch of options in life now. That's you. You have a bunch of options. You could do whatever you want. You're not allowing this information to keep you stuck. You're just going to keep going. And everybody, the community looks like they were sheep for following this man and this woman. And now they look like a fool. They're all up in their head. They're stuck. They can't sleep. They're like, what do, what do we do? What do we do? Right? And now they're mad at this masculine and this karmic feminine. And now they're taking away. If they were giving money to this couple, they're taking their money back. Or they're not giving them any more money. They're not giving them attention. They're not inviting them to parties or events. Or they're just not listening to them anymore. Right? So not only did the feminine or the masculine lost your energy, they lost the energy of the community. They lost the energy of the divine because their luck has run out, right? So they're just losing shit left and right. So this is a reading. I hope it helps. I hope you get something from it. Um, bye.